Hello there, YouTube. It is Dual Link Theory here, also known as George, and I need to talk quickly because for the second card of the day, on the advice of a random redditor that commented uh, on a thread, uh, I've decided to do uh, officially Orcist Heart Horror as the second card of the day, but actually I'm going to be covering the entire Orcist engine because it would be incredibly stupid to just cover Harp Horror because he's part of a package. And the main part of the package I actually have laid out in this deck, which I have called Card of the Deck because of my incredible wit. Now, okay, so Harp Horror, the whole thing behind Orcus is if they are in your graveyard as a spell speed one effect that can only happen on your turn uh, unless they release one of their other spells, which they haven't yet. Anyway, let's not talk about what hasn't been released yet. Um, basically, they remove themselves from the graveyard to special summon another card, either from the graveyard or the deck or the hand in the case of the tuner. And uh, basically, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, graveyard effects are pretty frickin' powerful because, uh, well, Duel Links is like a toned-down Yu-Gi-Oh! basically, and... Um, just anything you can do that's like better than summon summoning a Dunamis Dark Witch or whatever. If you're not coming out the graveyard is really good in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And um, for that purpose, Harpoor is the best card because he is the one that if he's in the grave, he will whip out either this guy, Symbol Skeleton, or Brass Bombard from the deck. These guys come from the deck. So. Uh, the main Orcist engine currently is just this draw spell. They were given a draw to spell pretty much like Destiny Draw. Um, it is a once per turn clause, so I don't really know if you should run two or three at the moment. If you're doing a full on dedicated Orcist deck, I highly recommend three, but if you're using it simply as a sub engine like I mainly do, maybe try to go for two. Uh, I've been playing three. And I've had mixed results with it. I mean, the other day I, I triple drew the sucker and then uh, with a Desperado Barrel Dragon down here. And I obviously lost that duel, but that's just my wicked luck fucking me over like it always does. So, this is what I would call the Bare Bones Orcus Engine. Uh, by the way, Symbol Skeleton, he removes himself from the graveyard to summon another monster out of the graveyard. So he's more of a middle game card. He, uh, he's not too great on the first turn. And this is the tuner, who some people say you could just not play at all. If like if you if you're somehow playing Orcus and you're not synchroing, you can just drop the tuner. When he gets removed from the graveyard, he uh, just special summons somebody from the hand. So by far, Orcus Harp Horror, the secret rare, is the uh, most powerful of the cards, and he really sets up the engine. Now, ideally, basically a perfect turn one play is to play your draw spell, discard Harp Horror, and then. Um, then you can basically, you're going to come out of the deck um, for this guy, who's going to be normal, he's going to be special summoned. Um, and then, uh, you can do that without even using your normal summon. So, then if you magically have the tuner, I have actually been doing a pretty stupid combo, but it's just so fun that I, uh, I've been doing it. I've been playing this guy. Oh, by the way, when you use an Orcist effect for the rest of the turn, you can only special summon dark monsters, meaning that the majority of your extra deck is going to need to be dark, or you'll be having to wait a turn to try to do your summons. So what I've been doing recently, just kind of for shits and giggles, but it's, it is kind of fun, and it, this guy is very weak. He's got 12, uh, he's got 1,000... 200 attack, uh, and I wanted to mention this, I'm going to be mentioning some uh, attack values in this uh, card of the day, because uh, they're kind of important when it comes to Orcust. Desperado Barrel Dragon here is 2800, and I just want to point out that 2800 plus 1200 equals 4000. So just remember that, and uh, the, so this guy actually has a very cool uh, attack value for, for the kind of decks he's going to find himself in. <clears throat> so anyway, back to my stupid combo. I play my little draw card, ditch this guy to the graveyard, this guy comes out from the deck, and then let's just say I have uh, the tuner in hand, because I'm always unlucky enough to draw it. Um, then, basically they make this cool little guy, Underworld Fighter Ball Mung, who is basically, ready? He's a level 4 Dark Synchro, so he fits all the requirements to work in an Orcus deck, and if somebody is stupid enough to like, I don't know, uh, fissure him, or if they kill him with a card effect, he's bringing out a level 4 lower monster. So he has a sort of a, a kind of a floating effect that rarely ever goes off, but quite frankly, 
If you have nothing else to do on your turn, ending on a 2100 is better than ending on a 1200. So I have included him in the deck. Um, now, very quickly, we're going to go over the Orcus cards that uh, people aren't playing. Uh, this trap here, da 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 da, you can read that effect for yourself, but um, it sucks. At least so that is the consensus of professional opinion at the moment. And this card here, uh, that is a little bit better, uh, because but it's a targeted banish, so it's really not that good at all. And then this card here, I actually put in a deck once. Um, this card here, I guess in a pure Orcus deck, which I'm going to be trying to build, this, um, this is pretty cool because it's like a continuous foolish burial for Orcus monsters, I believe. Uh, so when I quickly build a pure Orcus deck for the purposes of this COD, um, then that'll be in the deck. Uh, let's see, let's see, what else did I want to say? There is another important attack value thing. Brass Harp Horror here has 1700 attack, which matches perfectly with Bryanac here for an even 4000. So unless someone's using a lot, an LP gaining effect, you know, now you cannot get out Bryanac with Orcus shenanigans. So you have to wait a turn because he's not dark, but Bryanac is usually worth it. And uh, the way that I usually get him out is somehow I'll have this guy, Black Salvo, who is our new cool dark machine tuner. Anyway, him and him makes a Bryanac. And I know Bryanac's an ultra rare. I myself actually used my recent dream ticket to get Bryanac. And I used my secret rare dream ticket to get this son of a gun because he's actually pretty much the only dark level 5 synchro that you can get. And actually his effect is not that bad. Um, anyway, if he gets destroyed by battler card effect, then uh, he's a monster reborn. He's just straight up monster reborn. And uh, so he's not bad, but he's definitely not a very offensive card. But if you get, if you summon him, they have to basically bounce him or banish him because... Um, Especially in a deck like Desperado, where he can bring back this sucker in the battle phase, whose effect is immediately live. Yeah, he can be pretty cool. He did. He makes the duel interesting. Um, now, at this point, I'm going to go over. There's a synchro that I'm hunting that I uh, that I don't have because I am not really a pay-to-win guy. I have to earn my cards generally. I'm hunting a card known as Dark End Dragon, and um, hopefully, I'm able to edit Dark End like to pop up on the screen right now but dark end is the strongest dark level eight uh that you can um that you can get pretty much because he has a he has a send to the graveyard not destroy he sends cards to the graveyard unfortunately that is a targeted effect meaning that he cannot get over that invoked uh i actually i actually researched how to say the name it's invoked cositas i believe is the correct uh pronunciation uh, but I'm just gonna call him a cock because I hate that freaking card with a passion. So anyway, he can't get over Cositas, and I actually was thinking, who could? A dark level eight that can get over Cositas is a uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, who I also do not have. Uh, before I, so I covered now the crappy Orcist cards that nobody really plays. Uh, let's quickly just go over Synchros. Ready? Um, if you're playing this guy, who you might be. Um, then having strong level 7s is important. The current best ones you can get is a uh, Samurai Destroyer, who's like a Armides, basically. And, of course, good old Black Rose Dragon. Now, if you're looking for a dark monster that you can get out, um, I found this guy, who does not need a Black Wing Tuner. Uh, if you have the space or you just don't have any other cards, he can uh, be your dark level 7 if you really want a dark level 7. I have seen guys in tournaments be playing Star Eater, who seems kind of weird to get out, but... I mean, if you just are short on extra deck monsters, you know, uh, use a Star Eater. Uh, I myself love the interaction between Scrap Dragon and my Orcus monsters because they create free pluses whenever they special summon by taking themselves out the graveyard. That's a plus one. So all the time I'll be bringing something onto the field and then Scrap Dragon pops it for free, you know? Rinse and repeat and that's how you win duels. What next, what next, what next? Uh, first off, let's take out some of the bullshit cards. Because, oh yeah, uh, for a level six, you can get this card with a, uh, a secret rare ticket, not a, you know, a super secret rare ticket, not the one I just used. A regular secret rare ticket should be able to get this level six dark monster. But I'm taking him out of the deck because uh, I'm playing Bryanac and uh, he cannot compete at all with Bryanac. I need to kill one more card out of this deck. 
Uh, I'm going to take out this because when I get out of level 7, it's always going to be Samurai Destroyer. <sighs> okay, we just hit the 10 minute mark and we have barely done anything. Is there anything else I need to mention about the Orcist engine? Let's see, I mentioned uh, Symbol Skeleton equals 4,000. I mentioned Red Dragon Archfiend gets over Cositas. Uh, I showed the bullshit cards that nobody plays, although I think I'm going to put them in this pure Orcus deck I'm about to build. Uh, does not work. Oh yes, ready? One of the sub-engines, let's talk quickly about sub-engines. You want to get your Orcus in the graveyard, so throwing in a Neos Fusion engine if you have it. Um, it they, Neos Fusion is basically foolish burial for us. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using the Neos Fusion in this example because that it kind of dominates whatever deck it's in. Even though it's a great foolish burial effect, Neos Fusion, you put it in any deck and then you're you're playing a no-brain uh, Neos Fusion deck at that point. And I like myself playing no-brain decks because, uh, because they're often good. But anyway, for the purposes of this deck, no Neos Fusion. But uh, I would also like to point out that unfortunately Red Eyes Fusion, which is another foolish effect, does not work with that because uh, Red Eyes Slash Dragon requires a warrior-type monster. And our Orcus are all machines. So, no red eyes shenanigans, guys. Any any kind of effect that you could uh, find that sends cards to the graveyards is going to help Orcus. Uh, Scrap Recycler is also in Duel Links, and he is like a, he's like an Armageddon Knight for machines, if I had to put it in a weird way to say it. <laughs> okay, so, before this becomes a super long video, in fact, this video is going to exceed 15 minutes, so I can smell it. Um, I'm just going to quickly... Very quickly, I might be able to get under the 15 minute mark. Um, you know what? To do, I'm just gonna make it a Cyber Dark deck really quickly. Orca Cyber Darks, very, very strong. Boom. Get this guy here. Bam. Bam. And then uh, I'm not playing any semi limited, so. And I'll throw in two Treacherous Trap Hole, just to make this deck. Now let's try to duel quickly. Save. We're ready to go. Your deck. What is wrong with my deck? Oh, I have one too many. Fucking A. Okay, goodbye, Star Eater. Save. Yes. Okay, I hope that made that my active deck. Boom. Bam. Come on, Kaiba. What deck are you playing? Okay, he's playing the right deck. Let's take a pure Orcist against a noob. No extra card this time, just because... Ooh, the greatest of birds can actually beat you too, if they get an insane hand. So, uh, this is one of the, the decks the computer plays that actually might cause you a little bit of trouble. Like, most of them, like, most of them are other pushovers, but this is one of the decks that if it goes off, can, uh can s sneak out a win on you. Okay, I've gotten a beautiful opening hand. Anytime you see your draw spell, especially with Harpoor, you have done good. So, bam, let's do that. Send that sucker to the grave. Uh, okay, and then we're going to set Treacherous. Uh, uh, because, dude, this is my play style, basically, but um, I always set cards as bluffs just to fuck with people. Uh, okay, Harpoor is going to get out my tuner. Activate effect. And then I'm going to end on the level. I'm going to have a fairly good defensive turn one. Unless I'm fucking up and missing something. Bam. Boom. Summon. And as you'll see, this is the only reason this guy is in the deck is because he's the only card that fits the criteria for this. Boom. Boom. This is not a horrible turn one. I feel pretty safe uh, being behind a 2600 defense wall that's a monster reborn on legs. Uh, let's see, my Orcus... All of my Orcus spells are dead, or spells and traps are dead. So, bam, in turn. To get under the 15 minute mark, I would have to defeat this guy in 30 seconds, and that's just not gonna happen. So this is gonna be my first video over 15 minutes. Uh, by the way, Samsara has to be your opponent's card effect to work. So, now this deck is bricking. Uh, it's bricking bad. So that's the thing about, I mean, I just threw this deck together really quickly. Orcus goes much better in like a Cyber Dark, oh, I did make a Cyber Dark deck, but basically a Desperado deck is the place you really want to use Orcus. But 
Uh, that would make this more about Desperado. Ooh, look at this sucker. Well, I gotta do this. I, I don't know if this guy's immune to traps or what, but we'll see. Confirm. I probably should have... What should I have done? Probably should have done something different than that. Target two. Okay, is he gonna special summon them both? Okay, I'm not dead. Bam. And the black salvo came out, so that's pretty much... Now, here's the thing. Oh, wait. The only card I'm gonna be able to get out is what? Oh, that. Okay, that's cool. Bam, and then this is why we have Samurai Destroyer, because Black Rose Dragon is essentially like a vanilla if it doesn't nuke the field. Boom. And as you can see, this is why I heavily debate playing two of the Orcus Draw spell, because as you can see, I've been sitting on them all game. Now, it is true, I don't have three Harpoor. Harpoorer? Harpoor. Uh, so... If I had more Orcus in my deck, uh, I'm sure it would be doing better right now. But Orcus are really just designed to be a draw engine at this point in Duel Links. When they inevitably get more support, uh, I mean, they have an XYZ monster that is pretty darn good. Um, I can't remember if that requires a Link monster, though. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Um, no reason not to. And then Samurai Destroyer, it doesn't matter what this is, uh, that effect will be negated. It uh, doesn't matter if it's a graveyard effect, flip, yada yada yada, it doesn't matter. Okay, draw, and he is about ready to die. Activate. Boom, give me this. Uh, is this... Yeah, it's always the opponent. Normal summon. I'm actually going to give him another turn. The thing is, though, I, I want to see this card activate one time, but how much you want to bet the computer's going to start setting monsters until it dies? In turn, baby. Bad, yeah, in turn. Hopefully he'll try to summon something. Yeah, I'm not going to extend the video by two extra minutes to try to just show a stupid Orcus card that nobody should play, so, uh... Now, in real life, that would be Drowning Mirror Force or whatever totally destroys you, but this is not real life, so... Fire. Oh, also, that wouldn't... Well, wait, he's... This guy only works when he's attacking a monster? Do note that. He is not like Armides. Like, he has to be attacking a monster to be immune to stuff. So, anyway, that was a sort of a kind of a... A relatively weak rundown of the Orcus uh, monsters, but you know, like uh, I covered a lot of cards, and uh, you saw the the Orcus do what they did. They got out of turn one synchro, and uh, so that's kind of what they do. Orcus are all about getting those plus ones at the graveyard. The definition of a good dual links deck is any deck that can end on more cards that it started with on turn one. So on turn one, you start with four cards. If your deck can somehow turn that four into five, and I'm talking about in hand, on field, yada, yada, yada. If you can turn four into five, or obviously six is better, you're doing good. If your deck does not create those turn one plus ones, you're probably playing a shitty deck. So, that being said, I'm signing off again. Sorry for the length of this, but Orcist was really a, a relatively long topic because I had to cover like 15 different cards. So. Uh, please subscribe, uh, to, if you have a uh, attractive sister, I'm in New York City, send her my way. And that's it, you guys have a good day, and uh, try to duel better than other people. See ya.